Hello everyone, I'm ExtraFeasy87 and this is Let's Play Trails in a Reverie Part 94. In the previous video, we finished the first half of the fifth stratum with our, with the bad boy squad, the titular bad boy squad, and then we uh, decided that we were going to take a break from that because I wanted to use a different squad for the next half. First things first though, we're going to do our trial door and then during our break we're going to do Tita's two sub stories i don't know if we'll do both of them in this video or one per i, I don't know i'll have to see how long it takes i didn't really set up these squads i basically just kind of set up estelle she can Child carry presented. probably you only had like what 500k hp that's just like a few estelle ults formidable enemy spotted interesting <laughs> not happening Payback, hell. Don't get hit, you. Good luck. <laughs> right. I'm going in. Like, basically, I just need, like, Noelle alive for her Brave Order. And Estelle alive to Wheel of Time. Okay, no crit. Not good. Payback, hell. Why? It's my turn. You have a craft? What? Is that allowed? I'm going. Fun. Thanks. <laughs> Engage. Thanks. I'm going full. Probably shouldn't have done that. I'm... Like, I don't know if he can. Well, I guess he would have been S craft, he can kill us still, but like. As long as they have damage reduction up, I'm pretty sure she's invincible. It's my turn. I'm going. Fun. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> my turn now. Okay, so just give yourself a little, like a long-term strength boost. I think that's like five turns of small strength or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Help! That hits the spot. Here I come. She is going in. Arcus activate. Here. I mean, I, everyone should live. Well, Noel, maybe not. Hang in hey. there. Huh. Okay, we we Let's cannot lose. No problem. Okay, I'm going. me one more. I'm going in. And we're good. Arcus, activate. Here I come. No problem. I'm just saying, Estelle's the original robot killer. You really think you can step to her? Arcus, activate. Embarrassing. Embarrassing that you would even try it. Hey. It's my turn. I mean, none of you. Well, I mean, if you were gonna have one with anyone, it would be Elisa, and even then, probably not. Now oh, you killed anyway. <laughs> we did pretty good. Oh, we're getting the trial! Heavenly Gift is Heavenly Gift 3. I don't know if I've used that ability a single time. True Wheel of Time. 
Smart missiles. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know what Greek letter that is. I'm just not going to say it out loud because I don't want to embarrass everyone else with my uh, knowledge. It's the same. And I guess it's maybe slightly stronger, but the crit bonus is the same. If that was the main thing I was hoping would uh, be better. If when it's like 60% or something, just to have it be even more guaranteed. Now, technically the phrase even more guaranteed is, uh, you know, paradoxical because something can't be Review missions. more guaranteed. If it's guaranteed, it's guaranteed. But, uh, you know what? You know what I meant. Quit trying to nitpick me. Alright, Tita, what up? Let's, uh... Let's, let's see how this goes. Because really the main thing I'm worried about is there's just going to be like two... It's just going to be boring. Like, it may not even necessarily be actively bad, but, like, even in Sky 3, Tita's Moon Door, which the, it was, like, two of them, too. It was not... I mean, granted, it was kind of weird, because Tita had two Moon Doors, but they were both shorter than the other Moon Doors. It was kind of odd. Right, because there were five Moon Doors, I believe. It was Chloe, two Titas, Estelle and Joshua, and... Is that it? Was it just four? I feel like it was definitely they did the thing where it was in two different parts for Tita as well. Which is what they're calling back to, and I just remember it being kind of eh. Connecting to Reverie Garden database. Like past the initial introduction of Tita's parents again, which was cool. Everything else was just a uh, just okay about it. And that was even before the whole Wouldn't it be cool if this uh, little girl got into a relationship with a guy who's almost 30? It was before that was really a thing. Hmm, seems like most of the problems have been addressed. The combat data from the last test proved useful then. Because it's like, this, the thing that annoys me so much about the Tita stuff, it's the same thing with, like, the Elise thing, where it's not even necessarily the idea of Tita having a crush on Agate or Elise having a crush on Reen. That, in a vacuum, is not really my issue. It's literally every other character talking about it constantly and pushing it and pushing it and pushing it and pushing it. Like, if they wrote it in a way that Tita basically has this, like, infatuation with Agate because she doesn't really know how to handle her feelings, and then the dynamic is more about Agate trying to explain to her why that's not going to work. You know, she's still too young, she doesn't really know how she's feeling, and she's just having... Like, she thinks she feels this way because she doesn't really know how to handle her feelings because essentially she's too young and it's not going to happen but they can still you know remain close friends and the relationship should be more seen through the lens of a brother and sister that would be fine but you can write that and explore that idea but constantly having every other character buy into it and push it and push it and push it for like multiple in-game years just so you know the second Tita becomes 18 they can be like well it's okay now she's canonically 18 it's perfectly fine because you know that's what's gonna happen is annoying but now that we've got our pre-poison rant out of the way let's let's jump in very well I owe the team a lot Mobile Gear 3 is officially complete then you got a passing grade I suppose so what next I haven't given them much thought, actually. Which means your schedule is open. Try analyzing this! Uh, what is it? No questions! But then how... 
Oh, you want me to figure that part out? There is no rush in your findings, nor is there a need to provide periodic updates. You're free to proceed however you wish. You can figure out what the hell this walk man is. Doesn't walk. It's not even a man. I don't get it. Is there something else? No. It's just you seem to be swamped with so much work lately. I was wondering if I could help lighten the load. That's what I'm here for. Uh... Who? What? There you are, Professor Russell. Long time no see, Professor Schmidt. And thank you for keeping a watchful eye over my Tita. It is weird, though, like, what's happened with, with Erica, where, like, she's the bad guy in Sky 3, right? She, she has this, like, outsized reaction to Agate, which is a little understandable, right? You know, if you've been away for a year and you come back and your 13-year-old daughter's, like you know, palling around with the dude who's almost 30. I think it's fair to be a little sus and like a little protective. Now, of course, her reaction is like way over the line, but the game has retroactively proven her right because you you know what's going to happen between them. It, it's written, it's faded, like the damn prophecies, the causality machine, that was, on, that was page two. It was black record prophecy and second page was Agatita. Mom, why are you here? Why are all of you here? Sorry to drop in, Tita. We were just escorting your mom. And I'm here on a job. A very troublesome job, as it so happens. How so? That can wait. There's something much more important here than work. And that's you, my baby's breath bundle of cuteness. Oh, how your mommy has missed you. <laughs> Mom? And you've only gotten cuter. Oh, I can't believe it. It's a scientific marvel. At least over there, malting. They gotta have laws against going over cute capacity because I just can't take it. Why couldn't I be born as a Russell? Stop it, Mom. Everyone is watching. <laughs> Let him. I get to hug and kiss and love on my favorite little girl. My Tita tank's been running on empty for months. <laughs> um, <laughs> Professor? Just let her get it out of her system. <laughs> Poor Tita. Please. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. If you're going to fritter away my time, do it where I can't see it. Uh, I'm... I'm sorry. Uh, my apologies. I sometimes forget that my enthusiasm could give a man with already one foot in his grave a heart attack. Got him. Hm. There you are with that cheek. I would assume you were the child if I didn't know that was your daughter standing next to you. Why, thank you. My imagination is as rich as a child's. A good thing, too, since my partner now is a senile old fart whose last good idea may have predated our concept of time. Now, which, who is that referring to? Is that referring to him? Because she also, doesn't she hate her dad? That was, that was also one thing that was kind of, I forgot about that aspect. That she's always mad at old man Russell. Huh. Isn't, that, isn't that a thing? I don't know. I, I like Reverie Erica way more. Like, I feel like she, she her characterization was before her time. You know, her being like mean to everyone, like mean to old man Russell and mean to Agate felt bad at the time. But now she's proven right on the Agate front because his fate is written. He's sealed. I'm sorry, Agate. And being mean to Schmidt's kind of OK. <laughs> Because he's an I asshole. I can't tell if they hate each other or if this is just their thing. Eh, I'm leaning toward the latter. She's the only engineer I know who can have at it with the professor. Probably because she's going to be him in 30 years. Unlike her old man who just loves throwing whatever shit he can find together. He's too developed tech with specific goals in mind. They also don't mind throwing everyone else under the bus if it means meeting those goals. Hey, Red! I got ears. I mean, that's fair. He is talking mad shit. So, the job? Right. Time to get down to business.
So you're forming a team to handle problems the Black Workshop left behind? In short, yes. The Workshops left scars all across the land. Their weapons, autonomous and otherwise, are on the Black Market. It could be people are scavenging for remnants of them. However they're going about it, it's gonna be a problem in time. The Guild's on full alert. That sounds rough. No wonder you're here. I came here as a representative of ZCF after receiving a formal request from the Imperial government. Professors Schmidt and Russell are acting as the linchpins of the team. I'm here since I was connected to the workshop. And I'm like a freaky little gnome guy. And the guild is working like with us dude. as a safety measure. All of this is being coordinated via the Reinford Company. We'll be investigating old sites while figuring out what to do with the weapons we find in said sites. I see. I'm surprised you agreed to help, Professor. I don't see it as helping. I couldn't care less what the government or the guild wants. All I want is the data the Black Workshop left behind. Yeah, I can't wait to get my hands on it all. You two have a one-track mind. Do you think I could be a part of the team? I'd love to be of some help. Well, um... You don't have to do a thing, Tita. But... Come on, don't we already go over this? I did say this job is troublesome, but as you can see, we have more than enough people to go around. We, are, we already did this plot point in Sky 3 where you gotta let Tita do her thing. And I didn't come all this way for nothing. We don't even have to worry about funding since RF and the government's footing the bill. Father was such a large part of this that my mother and I are by default. If it takes all of Reinford's resources to put an end to it, then that's just what we'll have to do. Hey, maybe you guys could use your resources to figure out uh, what's going on with your factory and crossbow that's creating a super weapon that's going to potentially kill everyone. Just like send an investigator or something. And if anybody tries to get rough, they got the bracers to let them know what's what. I mean, I was never going to worry about that. I know you guys are there. Then you know we're all set. The best thing you can do right now is focus on school. But what about you? You're in school too. Yeah, but I'm cool. I sure am. Dean Collins allowed this as part of extracurricular activities. Thor's is all about extracurricular activities. I might even present a new thesis based on my findings. Yeah, why are you in school again? Didn't they have that whole, uh, oh, Rian actually has three doctorates because she says... <laughs> Probably one of the cringiest things Sky has is, oh yeah, Ren has three doctorates. <laughs> She's got a super brain. She's like fucking eight years old. So why can't I do what you're doing? There's nothing you can do for this team. Why not make sure Makarov's damn niece doesn't set fire to the building while I'm out? Come on, that's what... Mint wouldn't do that. Oh, Professor, I know Mint can be a lot, but even she wouldn't... Evacuate! Evacuate! Fire in the building! Whoa! That rent went flying! <laughs> huh? How'd it get caught in the vent? I am surprised I find Mint as funny as I do. Cause I feel like, I feel like it's on some level I shouldn't, I should eye roll at Mint, but I do kind of, I guess it's cause she's, she's like such a, like she doesn't show up that often. So I think the joke never really wears thin. I think especially in these games, now that she's, you know, even more of a side character than she was in like, when you would talk to her as an NPC all the time. Because I feel like, in general, I don't really like the, oh, I'm so clumsy wumsy uh, character trait, but, I don't know, something about Mint, I just, I find humorous. I'm only hanging out in the Empire for a little while. How long, exactly? The problem problem's pretty broad, so we're thinking it'll take about four months or so. That, that long? Damn, that maniac should be able to hold down a fort just fine. Got some things I need taken care of as soon as I'm back, but who can resist all this workshop business? Are you sure there's anything I can do to help? It's fine, don't worry, my little angel. The schedule itself isn't very packed, to be honest. Most of our time will be spent on data analysis. 
Yup, anything that decides to get in our way will give him a real smackdown and settle things in a jiffy. Settle on stress, okay? You say so. And if push comes to shove, I can always sacrifice this guy here. I don't mind. Aw, um, just kidding. Not. Bullshit. Oh, Agate, you silly, stupid man. Why not have to resort to sacrificing you and there's so many other fun ways to use a pack mule over the next four months? Fun, huh? You can lay off the murderous insanity time now. It'll be fun, alright? Fun for me! Agate's stuck looking over the shoulder for his rest of this day. Well, he wouldn't have to be! It... It's like our obsession with Agate is going into overdrive after he and Tito went to the Empire. You do live a life of suffering, don't you? A normal person would have killed over by now. Must be the A ranker in you. Can you not sound so impressed? This guy, you so giggly. Seeing us all together like this brings me back home, is all. Well, home will always be there for you when you're ready for it. Then can I guys can I join you guys doing fun adventures? No. Oh. And since things are more or less back to normal, how do you like your school, Tita? Guys couldn't stop talking about the lawyers during the war, especially your instructors. Well, everyone's really nice. There are a lot of funny and interesting people around here. I was a little afraid when I first came here, but now I feel totally fine. That good, huh? Sounds like you made some wonderful memories. And once I hear about you guys assassinating the Emperor, well, okay, well, he wasn't the Emperor, he was like the prime, but he, like, he was kind of the Emperor because he had like the soul of an Emperor, but yeah, you know, he was like the, he's not really like the, yeah, it's, it's a long story. So make sure you give them a proper goodbye so you don't sour those fond memories. Huh? Don't worry, once you're settled, you can invite all your friends to come see you in the borough. And I think they need to carve out some time on my schedule to talk out with your instructors. Wait a second, Mom, what are you talking about? Why do I need to say goodbye? I'm not just here on a job, Tita. I'm here to take you back home. What? Why? Is this all out of nowhere? Not as much as you think. I heard that branch campus stood in opposition to the government during the war. Yeah, it was based. I think I'd leave my daughter in such a dangerous place after hearing that. There's a good reason behind that. We were just trying. Remember when Tita wasn't in school and she uh, went down to the depths of the earth to fight an evil mech, and then also went to the peak of the sky to destroy an ancient artifact that controlled the entirety of space, and then also uh, went to the Phantom Dimension all while you were like gone, gone all frolicking around. I mean, I guess technically the Phantom Dimension came after she came back, but, um, I mean, it is funny. Like, literally every time, like, Tita, like, leaves Erica's sight, Tita does some, like, crazy shit. The reason isn't the point. You were caught and put her under house arrest for a while, weren't you? Maybe? Sure, but it all worked out. And if it hadn't, all it would have taken was a single small mistake, and I might never have to see my little girl again. So I can't bear the thought even now. But it's not like she was safe in Laburl. She did dangerous shit in Laburl too. Um. I mean, you might hate me for taking you back, but I can handle that. I can't handle losing you. But I want to stay here a little longer. Come on, Erica. She's working her ass off over here. Zip it, Agate. You protect her like you were supposed to? She wouldn't have been in danger in the first place. Who was it who was so cocky when he said he'd keep her safe the day he left, huh? Because it's certainly not you. I mean... Slightly fair point, maybe delivered in an unfair manner. Don't want anger for this. No one could have predicted what happened, and I just didn't have the experience. Oh, actually, technically, uh, it was predicted a thousand years ago. Exactly what was going to happen? Nah, she's right. If I'd done my job. You wouldn't have been in half the trouble you were in here. I got nothing to fill myself with. Still, with that said, let me ask you this: Why do you want to stay after all that's happened? I'm still in the middle of classes. It'd be another year until I graduate. That doesn't matter. You don't care? Not as much as I care about the real reason you came to Erebonia. Uh, I want to study under Professor Smith and complete the Oval Gear 3. And since Estelle and Joshua couldn't come here before, I figured I could be the one to help Oliver out. Now those answers matter. 
I read your report. I think you did amazing work on the Ulbergir 3, which of course my daughter would. Prince Oliver is safe and your friends can now enter the country with no problem. From where I'm sitting, you've already gotten everything you could want out of Erebonia. When you put it like that, maybe, but... Did all of you know Mom came here to take me home? We did. We tried convincing her otherwise. You sure you won't reconsider? I think you know what I'll say to that, Estelle. Can't Tita just say, you'll take me back over my dead body? Like, what's Erica gonna do? But Tita really likes it here. What's the harm in letting her enjoy it while she's still in school? She likes being at home too, and there's nothing she couldn't learn in Liberl that she'd learn in Erebonia. That means it's time for her to come back home. That's not... That's not true. Am I really wrong? I think so. I can keep producing results, and that proves there's more I can stand to learn here, right? I suppose. Well, I just certainly sound enough. We'll be here for a while, so I see no reason not to entertain the idea. I'll have plenty of time to wait for her to produce results. We'll be operating out of the branch campus since it's where Fisher Smith is staying. I only doubt Tito will be in danger between now and when we leave. No way she would. Also, like, Reen works here? Doesn't that make it the safest place on the damn planet, pretty much? Reen and Aurelia work here? <laughs> Fine. Really? Yes, really, but on two conditions. First, you must produce results that convince me within four months. Second, after that, you must clear a test of my choosing. If you can fulfill those conditions, I'll let you stay at Thor's till graduation. Fair? Hey, did we do this already? <laughs> I mean, I'm enjoying this more than I expected it to. There hasn't been any... So far, we've stayed clear of Tita Agate posting. Um, so that's good. It's a reminder that they can write these characters and have them be interesting. But this is essentially a rehash of the Moon Door in Sky 3. Which is also what I was worried about. I was worried that it was just going to be a rehash of the Moon Door but with extra Tita Agate posting. Alright, it's life or death here, so let's kick up our first official meetup for Project World War Year 4! Alright, so on this one, the World War Gear is going to be an old man, first things first. Uh, it's not that big a deal, we're just brainstorming. Oh yeah, and the guy from World War Gear 2, he's a, a samurai ninja cyborg now. It's cool. People will love it. We promise. It doesn't need to make sense. Sh shut up. You say that, but if your mom isn't happy with what we come up with, then she's going to pull you from the branch campus. I know. So it is life or death. There's no such thing as going overboard today because we're on, on board as on board can be. We need every resource the engineering team here can get their hands on. Let's rock this out. Hey, right, Lassie. We don't plan on skipping if you're at stake. <laughs> That's so sweet. Okay, so I do have to help my uncle with his projects. I won't be able to help all the time. Sorry. Hey, can I say we're going to much help either? We might have some trouble following along when it comes to the more complex aspects of this project. Plus, I can't see anything. That's perfectly okay. Just having you here means the world to me. Now, I've got to be the one to handle most of it. If I hand over too much, then it's like I've lost the point of it being given to me. You're so nice. That's the spirit. Forget everything else. We're here for you 100%. Alright, then let's do it. Thank you, guys. Now we got that out of the way, let's really kick off our first official meetup for Project World Gear 4. Hey, you keep saying first, miss, but how many more meetings you got planned for this project? Zero. We only got four months. If we don't figure out what we're going to do right now, we're going to be screwed on time. But, then why call it the first? So oh, cool, you know? I was going to go with it. The next one can be Project Orbital Gear Revengeance. Oh, Tita. Eh, number four, eh? You just finished developing the Orbital Gear 3, right? It can't be so easy trying to one-up yourself so soon. If you're going to convince the professor to let you stay, shouldn't you go with less of a challenge? Has to be this. My mom designed the first Orbital Gear. I really want her to recognize my skills, and improving the very thing she started is the way to go. I got you now. Makes sense. But didn't you literally just improve it? <laughs> that was his point? Was that, like, what... If there's any easy improvement, wouldn't you have just put that into the Orbital Gear 3? And you want to have another word from us? Where do we start? Do you have a concept in mind for a Little Baby 4 and it's better than Big Daddy 3? Oh, uh, it's Big Boss, actually. Little Baby 4? Big Daddy 3? Hey, it's a wee world and that little noggin' good stuff. Try to understand it and just do your own head in. 
that I'm stuck on right now. Everyone's helped turn the Orbiter 3 into something with incredible specs. For passing, that's going to require some major overhaul. I don't even know where to start. And I'll put a damper on things, yeah? Well, uh, what can't the previous models do? What can we add? Um, rocket punches. Hey, there's got to be something. Hmm, I have an idea. What about train tracks? We could put it on tracks and trains. Yes, this is a good idea. Pablo approve. Got my heart's keep a beat when I first saw Panzer Soda flying around. What about that? Flying? Yeah, yeah, that could... You already fly in your S-Craft, Tito. You can already do that. She thanking? Any more faces? I think I was going through pics on a stereoscope. I can't even tell if you like the idea or not. I like the direction, but we wouldn't be the first to do it. The Orbital Gear is a Russell thing, isn't it? It is, but two years ago, ZCF and the Epstein Foundation joint developed something called the Eidolon Gear. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking about that too, about uh, Tio's old Ultimate that got, it was like super cool. It, it had like a five minute animation locked behind like a side quest or something. I didn't even see it. And then it didn't show back up in these games because they're cowards. I can't remember. You had to do so. I don't, I don't remember how you got it unlocked. Because I remember I didn't unlock it. I want to say. Because I only ever saw the animation via like the S-Craft menu like after you beat the game. But it did. It had like the most extra animation ever. It was great. It was like you had to talk to someone during the in-game section and I just like didn't talk to them or something like that. I can't remember. It's like a sister weapon to the Orbital Gear. Oh, like Elisa's Exa? Yeah. Three companies were involved in the Exa, whereas the Edolon Gear mostly has foundation tech to make it stand out. Almost certain it was capable of manned flight. Damn true it was. Well, isn't that something? Is there a reason the three didn't incorporate if the technology is already out there? Be honest, it's because I just don't know a whole lot about the Edolon gear. That's an easy fix, all we gotta do is ask. I understand, I'll answer any questions you have. I mean, couldn't you just like talk to Altino? I mean, Altino's thing is fairly similar. Like, it's similar in concept. Thank you so much, Tio. No need to thank me. ZCF helped make it happen, so it's the least I can do to share. To start, the Edolon gear did achieve flight to some degree, but it was far from perfect. What happened? Two things, performance and operational time. It's possible to fly with a pilot in the seat, but adding another crew and performance drops dramatically. And it also significantly refuses how long it can operate. Assume, I presume it means reduces. It isn't designed for multi-purpose work for long periods. Forget flight combat. Let's see, the Orbital Gear 3 solved the operational time issue and it adapted well to suit its pilot's needs on the spot. Another thing is the Edolon gear can't function without first linking with the Aeon system. It's a progressive machine for its time, but it came with some pretty big limitations. It had some incredible stuff to it, but like the versatility of the three. Yeah, but you only needed to do it every once in a while when you wanted to a teal ult. Now, unfortunately, even if it was pretty cool looking, it was just worse than Tio's normal ultimate, which was broken. Then adding a flight function to the three wouldn't be a bad idea after all. Ah, not bad. It's pure brilliant is what it is. Sounds like it would work much better than anything that's come before, yeah? I don't even just slap it on, right? I only got so much heft, and it's not like we can apply some kind of boost with the Panzer Soldats. Ah, it'd never be easy veering around with tight turns how it's built to. Not easy isn't the same as impossible, so no matter how hard it is, I'm gonna make it happen. Oh, you're all kinds of inspired. We may have some materials that could help, so I'll put them together and send them to you in a little bit. Thank you. Thanks to your input, we now have a plan. This is one is sure to make Mom see what I'm made of. One month later? How's progress going? We brought some snacks. Oh no, my voice. <laughs> they, they did not like that. Oh man, the, the Freddy video was yesterday, but um, did, did lasting damage. Hey Sandy, hey Freddy. Well, let's take a sip of the sauce first.
feel like you've seen better days. Nothing Freddy's fighting for me like can't fix. Go on, give it a bite. Or else. What, what's in it? You don't want to know. Um. There's a special blend of seven kinds of bugs that help fight fatigue. It's bitter. It's so bitter. What is this deep rich aftertaste? Coffee grounds. It's like I'm being swathed in a warm blanket of pure energy. Wow, I feel like a whole new Tita now. Nothing beats a second wind, right? Well, like nothing beats whatever it is you just gave me. I've got some sandwiches too if you're hungry. I would love some, Sandy, and thanks a bunch, Freddy. No thanks needed. Anything for a cooking club, comrade. SSS, more like CCC. Right, I haven't been able to drop by the club at all lately. Please, if anything, we wish we could do more for you. We're in your corner, Tita. Next year won't be the same if you aren't there to cook with us. I really want to stay too. So far, so good on the plan, then, I hope. Well, going by how out of you were, I'm guessing not. I made prototype after prototype, but none of them quite make the cut in terms of specs. I feel bad since everyone's going out of the way to help, but to be honest, I'm stumped. Have you tried asking Professor Schmidt? I don't know. He might just glare at her before brushing her off. I know he's so scary up front, but I think he'd still give me a hint if I asked. It's just that I don't want him to. My friend's helping me out is one thing, but he's a professor. If this whole thing moves forward based on the input of someone whose mom's equal, then is it really my project anymore? That's a valid point, sure. That means your roadblock's not going anywhere. So when I hit a wall on something, I do something else to take my mind off of it. Yeah, I do that too. I like to go hunting. Want to go run through the mountains? How fast in the mountains? I like the direction this is going. I actually haven't analyzed that device Professor Schmidt gave me yet. I think I'll start there. Who knows? We might even solve it or pull another all-nighter. I'm not sure that's going to help. But sure it is. Different strokes, Sandy. That's what makes you tick, Tita. As long as you don't ever do it, anyway. Thanks, you two. I like seeing all the all the kids get involved, too. So that's nice. To this reaction, is this somehow some sort of gravitational engine? How is it so small? I can't think of any practical use of this off the top of my head. Could be a prototype. How about the professor gave this to me now? Yeah, now here. Professor Smith, do you have a moment? Only just keep it brief. I've been reading this sheet of paper for one month now. I'm 67% of the way through. It's about that device you gave me. I thought I told you there wasn't a need for periodic updates. It's been a month. What? It's not that. I just wanted to confirm something about how it's used. Is do whatever you want with it. Huh? I said do whatever you want with it. Now, no more questions. I will. Thank you, Professor. I'll see you later. Hmm. Hmm. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Gosh, what will they come up with next? Hmm. Fourth sentence. The quick brown... <laughs> I don't really know what that bit was. I guess the idea was that he's he's reading that over and over again. I don't know. Okay, it's time for the final operational trial. Guess it'll have to be. You only got two days till you present your findings to Erica. I'll be proud of before you come. Maybe. You never dripped the unit your professor gave me was turned to be a new gravitational engine. The internals were really unique, so it took a lot of tweaking to make it work. After fitting into this prototype, I can't believe the kind of results I was getting. So that's the direction I needed to follow, and after that, new ideas just kept coming and the prototype was done before I knew it. I've done a few flight tests and made improvements after each, and now... I don't know what any of this shit means. I'm just a guy with a rock. What is it, Agate? Nothing. Just like how passionate you are. <laughs> Sometimes I get the fire in me, I can't stop yammering. Anyway, thanks for coming with me today. I'm glad you come all the way out here alone. 
Why did you pick a spot in the middle of nowhere like this anyway? It's my last chance to collect data, so I wanted to make sure to make the most of it. Nobody comes here and the elevation is naturally uneven. It's just perfect for flying around. Makes sense. Well, go wild. I'll be here watching the whole way, so let me know if you need anything. Okay, I'm ready to get started. This is the part where nothing bad happens. You think Tito's really gonna make a hundred plus orbital gears? I was pretty ambition vicious putting the uh, the the third digit there. I mean, she is zooming. I gotta finish the test course now. Good stuff. Here are all the numbers you wanted. Don't don't really know what they mean. Is four a good number? <laughs> Looks like you were flying pretty well to me though. Oh, this is a big success. Huge. I was bound to be satisfied num by numbers like this. Awesome. Guess all that's led is for Mama Bear to go over with a fine tooth comb. Sounds like you got it in the bag. Thanks so much for all the help, Agate. Maybe it's a bit premature to be saying this for a mom gives the okay. But I don't get any more of that while I'm in the academy. Yeah, I got you. Guild Slender staff in the Empire, so I wasn't planning on heading home anytime soon. I'm going to check on you ever so often is easy enough. Oh, and that's the, uh, the, the thing, the guy ballads thing. I was, I was told that was the, uh, the connection from ballads, whatever. Maybe some kind of mechanical fa failure. The pilot can't ascend. It's going to crash into the mountain. That's not good. I think I have this unit. Going to go and help. Because that scene really made no sense at the time. Flight field's completely down. Can someone in there hear me? Who are you? There's no time to explain. Just please hold me tight, tight to something. I'll do what I can. I need to elevate it somehow. Full power? Yeah! Oh god, that, that hurt. <laughs> the Freddy damage. This isn't enough. At least an output limiter. Oh gosh, she S crafting. Bro, she's gonna blow up her damn prototype. Please, just a bit more. Ah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anime yell. It'll it'll give you extra strength. <laughs> a little spooky. Oh, you might want to land. <laughs> I did it. Now I just need to get back to Ag... Huh? This is the part where something bad happens? Don't tell me it overheated. Huh? I mean, you could, you could just kind of list over slightly. By the skin of my teeth, but yeah, I'm okay. I can't take my eyes off of you for a second now, can I? Nothing but trouble, I swear. I'm so sorry. If I hadn't run off like that on my own. Yeah, but like, the guards may have died and that would have sucked. So you did the right thing. I'm teasing. You got nothing to apologize for. We gotta make sure Butler Esquire lives. You probably saved the lives of everyone on that airship. You did the right thing, Tita. You mean it? Still, you might be safe. But we can't say the same for the Orbal Gear 4, huh? Well, you still got the data, so it should be fine. Hey, 
That was my gravity thing. It's me. I'm invisible. Man, I guess that's supposed to... Or okay, maybe that's how they got the gravity thing back. Or that was just one of the artifacts that for some reason Schmidt had. Uh... Because when I was thinking about that, of course, the, you know, the mentioning gravity, but... But, like, Schmidt really shouldn't just be handing that out. Isn't that enough for Kevin to show up and kill you? <laughs> if it is actually one of the real artifacts? The two eventually descended to the bottom of the canyon and recovered the Robo Gear 4's wreckage. I mean, technically, Kevin probably doesn't, like, assassinate people anymore. Probably. Other people might. There's plenty of, plenty of Grail Knights we don't know about. Unfortunately, it was clear that a few days wouldn't be enough to fix it, and peculiarly, the new engine fitted with them was nowhere to be found. And the end, Tita returned to the branch campus in low spirits. Aga gently patted her on the back in an effort to cheer her up. I mean, that doesn't really make, like, just the Phantom Emperor just happened to be there at the exact moment it cra- uh... Unless it's like he engineered the airship to crash, knowing that Tito, like, that seems a little too galaxy brain for me, but I guess you could say Elysium predicted everything, which is, I guess, something you can say about everything. Feels like a bit of a cop out, but, you know, that's just my opinion. I am a noted uh, prophecy hater, so, you know, that's, that's just seeing, that's in line with me. Hey, why does this thing have to happen? Uh, because we said it has to happen, and it has to happen because it has to happen. Which is, you know, personally, I'm not a big fan of that. Especially considering, I feel like it kind of, I mean, just to, I mean, we'll just fully go into it, like the whole, going, going back to the whole prophecy thing from CS3 and 4, like... The whole, like, one of the major themes of JRPGs, and this series in particular, that it adheres to very heavily, is that there's always, like, an alternate way, and you shouldn't necessarily just go with whatever's easiest, right? You know, the, they even mentioned that several times in this game, right? When it comes to dealing with Ishmelga again in the future, how to take out Elysium, how to unite the continent and avoid war, you know, the easiest, most simple solution is not necessarily the only one. Just because it seems like there's only one way doesn't mean you have to do it that way. That's why I find the prophecy kind of, frankly, bad writing. And uh, the complete and total adherence to it. Annoying. But, uh... What time are we at? We're only 10 minutes. I don't know what to do with that time. I guess we can play McBurn. <sighs> this is getting real old. Celine's a cat. She's a fire cat. She can handle you. Perfect way to kill a few. I mean, play, play McBurn in. <laughs> uh, Vantage Masters is very funny. Rude. Highly rude. Now, don't do anything. Bird me. Oh, yeah, we can't hit you anyway. Okay, well, we can still get 10 damage for free. Or, okay, free is maybe not the right word, but... Are you dead? No. You're almost dead. Don't heal. No! You little asshole. 
because you were probably dead if you didn't heal. Get blasted. Are you dead? Okay, so we crystal you. And we play you in your grass. Hey, I had a good time. The ultimate Natio Master, a monstrous figure whose power can crush entire armies. He defeated all others in the Age of Strife, becoming the supreme ruler of his own empire. Who must claim that he even stuttered under the legendary witch? <laughs> Not bad, it's only a game you beat me all the same. And it matches things pretty good for killing some time. Didn't think it'd give me this fired up. Just I got a lot to learn about this place. Come play another round sometime, got it? And it better be just as heated as last time. Okay, it's kind of weird he has like his own cutscene after losing. Do you want to go again? Perfect way to kill a few. This is fun. Hmm. We're not going to play dude yet. Okay, never mind. Because my thought process is I wanted to feed the crystal to you. So you would have the extra HP to do more hits. But I didn't really pay attention to my mana. Because I was also like, oh, we're going to get plus one from the crystal. But then I was like, we're not going to take the crystal though. I mean, I think we're still okay. We're just not as okay as I would have liked. So it doesn't really matter about the crystal. It's just do our damage. Okay, slightly spicy. We have a Water Lord. Ouch. Ouchers. And it wouldn't kill you. This is fine. You may be thinking this shit doesn't feel fine. It's fine. Hey, like I, I said, had a good time. It was perfectly fine. I didn't do the math. <laughs> I'm being honest. I was like, ah, we could probably kill him, maybe. And uh, I was right. So, we'll call it here. Next time, we will do the second round of Tita's Daydream. I guess to talk about it. I enjoyed it. thought it was pretty good overall. Uh, basically, no Tita Agate posting. Like, just a, I mean, a little minor bit. But even then, not really. Just kind of implied. 
Like if it, it wouldn't, it would only, it's only bad because like they've so honed in on it. It, it felt more in line with the original established relationship of like brother sister that they had going for in Sky 2. Um, well, that was nice. Activated. And it's like, I mean, I think Tita and Agate are cool characters and they can, you know, when they're written well, they can be very engaging. It's just they kind of gave up on writing them. So having a return to that is nice. We'll see if it carries over into part two. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe, maybe part two is where the poison is. Maybe they, maybe they get you off guard, and then it's a full double barrel in the second half. But we'll see. I'm extra cheesy eighty-seven. Stay tuned for the next part. And bye, guys.